What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Today I want to talk about some new kind of leaks that have come out about Call of Duty 2020. The first thing I'm going to talk about is one of the new XP promos that usually happens every year in the United States with Doritos, Mountain Dew, Monster Energy Drinks, Pringles. A lot of these companies will have products that you can purchase and you can get double XP towards that game. There has been a leak of an image from Doritos and Mountain Dew that shows Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War double XP promotion. Now, of course, this could be fake, so kind of take it with a grain of salt, but it seems to be pretty legitimate because this is something that happens, like I said, year in, year out, it's definitely in the U.S. with all these different products. I'm sure other parts of the world as well, but it shows an image, like I said, of you know the double XP event. It says you can uh, have a chance to win a year of double XP through these promotional codes. It also says that these promotional codes will be active between October the 5th, 2020, and run through January the 31st, 2021, which is usually about the time frame they come out year in, year out in the U.S. Like I said, this could be fake. I will link it down in the description if you guys want to see this image. But I would say, I would just for my kind of guess, I would say this is probably about a 90% chance that this is accurate. Um, and that kind of leads me to wonder, when are we going to get a reveal for the game? There's been a lot of speculation over the last few weeks that the game's going to be delayed. That has kind of been put to rest by some of these individuals on Twitter that have inside info that say that the game is going to be coming out on time and that we should be getting a reveal very soon. This is as long as we've ever gone in any year without any information about the next Call of Duty title. But seeing this you know, promo talking about the promotion starting in early October and running through January 30, 31 of next year makes me think, is the game going to come out like it usually does? You know, mid to late October, maybe early November. And that also is going to leave a lot of people kind of wondering what they should do when it comes to, you know, buying a new gen console and then, you know, playing Call of Duty on old gen and then buying it on new gen or wait, just waiting for it to come out on new gen. That is the one thing I hate about when new consoles come out that these game companies usually make it, of course, for both platforms because they're still going to support, you know, old gen and new gen for a couple of years. But I think it's going to leave a lot of people wondering what they should do. And it also is going to leave us kind of wondering when is this game going to be released? Because I'm sure it's still going to be released earlier than, you know, the, the next gen consoles release date. So you may have to wait a couple months if you're waiting to play it on new gen or you may just have to go buy it twice. I, I don't know. It's kind of a goofy thing to have to do. But I did find it interesting that all this information has come out, that this logo has come out, that it's shown the official name finally, that a lot of us have speculated the game would have. Uh, I'm kind of curious what you guys think. Leave me a comment. Look at those images. Let me know what you think about those images. Do you think they're legitimate? And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. If you are a subscriber, make sure you click the bell icon up in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live. If you have a chance to share the video, please do. It does help out the channel a lot. And if you would like to check out the affiliate GT Racing join the uh, community discord or follow me on Twitter. All that information is linked down in the description and I'll catch you all next time. Peace.